Hi guys, welcome to People's Digest. Today, I'm gonna show you how to make aloe vera water, which is great for your hair. Trust me on that. But first, I need to get the main ingredient, which is the aloe vera. And I'm trying to get the biggest and freshest one. Um, the price might vary from shop to shop, but in this shop, it costs $4.99 per kilo. And my next ingredient is water. I'm gonna be using spring bottled water today because that's what I fancy using, but you could use the tap water, it's just as good. So the first thing I'm gonna do is wash my aloe vera. Yes, this aloe vera has been sitting on the shelf. You know, there's dust, there's debris, so we need to give it a good old clean, really wash it out with just water. But be very careful because the end of the aloe vera leaf is very sharp, it's got these prickly edges. So just take your time and enjoy the process. So that's my aloe vera all nice and clean. And next I take a kitchen paper towel and just dry it up. Ensure all the excess water is removed and your aloe is clean as possible. So that's my aloe and I'm going to just place it on the chopping board alongside the other things I'll be needing. So I'll be needing a cup for water, I'll be needing my knife, I'll be needing my strainer, I'll be needing my spray bottle and also my blender cup. So I'm going to chop this bit of the aloe vera, uh, yeah the head of the aloe vera and we can get rid of that. Next I'll cut the side of the aloe vera leaf just to get rid of these sharp edges. This can be quite dangerous so be extremely careful, be careful how you handle your knife. Um, so yes, I'm just getting rid of this on both sides. This is quite a big aloe vera, but trust me guys, I'm very good at handling them because I use them quite often. I use them for pre for my hair, for the skin, you know, so I I'm used to them. So I'm wiping off this bit of the aloe vera to take out this yellow bit. I think they call that the latex and it itches. So I'm just making sure I've taken out all the yellow excess bits to prevent any itching or discomfort. So I'm going to chop my aloe vera into thick slices. I'll cut about five huge chunks. That'll be just enough uh, for the amount of uh, aloe vera water I'll be making. So I'm cutting out the skin of the aloe vera. I'm taking off the leaves and then I'm looking for that gel and putting it straight into my blender. So this is the most important part of the leaf. It's the jelly bit. That's where all the goodness is. So once I've cut this open, the gel goes straight into the blender. Again, guys, be very careful at this stage because it gets slipperier when you get in, you know, when you have to handle the gel. Uh, so be very careful with the knife. Uh, it's hard to grip sometimes. Just be cautious and careful. So I've taken off all the gel, but I go in sometimes and take out the little residue that's behind. Sometimes there's a good bit of gel left and I just scrape it off from the skin and get, look at this, I'll be missing out on this. And you know, aloe vera is expensive, so I need to get all that goodness as you can see, look. So that's the amount I've gotten. And um, right now I am going to add my water. This is the water I'm gonna use, spring water. So I'm gonna measure out one cup of water and that's all you need. And I will pour it into the blender cup, enough to cover the aloe vera gel. So now I'll just cover the blender and we'll begin to blend the water and the aloe vera for about two minutes. You can add essential oils like lavender if you wish, but personally, I don't. So that's what it looks like when it's blended. It looks quite foamy, but that's the correct way it should look. Right, so now I am going to strain my aloe vera. Um, you can't miss this part, you really can't. Because if you don't, you'll have all these white particles in your hair, and we don't want that. So after straining, I allow the aloe vera water to sit for about five minutes to allow the foam to get to the surface. And then you have this lovely clear aloe vera ready for use. 
So now I'm going to transfer the aloe vera water into my spray bottle so it will make it very easy to use on my hair. This looks really good. This is full of benefits. Aloe vera moisturizes and adds shine to the hair. It softens and strengthens the hair. It makes it thicker and it restores the natural pH balance of the hair. It's also great for treating hair loss and um, yeah, it's really good in stimulating hair growth. So I'm gonna put the final bit of the aloe vera water in a bigger spray bottle. I got 200 ml in the two clear bottles and nothing should go to waste. So I'm filling this up and um, that should be just enough to use for a week between myself and my daughter. Our hair is quite thick, so it's gonna just drain this up. So this is 300 ml we got. It feels really refreshing on the skin and I can't wait to use it on my hair. Guys, I really hope you do try this aloe vera recipe because it's so easy to make and the benefits are perfect for our hair. So I'm gonna try the um, aloe vera water and my God, it already feels so nice on my hair. It feels really soft and hydrated. The comb just glides through. Now I'm gonna use the aloe vera water for my LOC method and I'm no longer going to use plain water. It's going to be aloe vera water all the way. Look at hydration, softness, strength. I'll be using my aloe vera water every day for long lasting moisture and rapid growth. So I store my aloe vera water in the fridge for at least seven to 10 days. And that should last us until we make a fresh batch. So guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope you're going to try this. Remember to like, comment and subscribe and I'll see you in the next video. Bye guys.